One of the biggest questions facing the Bruins as they take the court this season is how they'll fare without former point guard Jordan Farmar. Farmer left the team last year after his sophomore season to make himself eligible for the NBA draft and was picked up by the Los Angeles Lakers. Since then, the Bruins have turned to sophomore Darren Collison, who will most likely be starting in the all-important one spot this year. And Collison has his work cut out for him. Last season, Farmer was the team's second leading scorer, averaging 13.5 points per game. He also was the Pac-10's assist leader with 5.1 assists per game. And though he was only a sophomore, Farmer helped lead last year's Bruins to the NCAA National Championship game. Collison's past performance shows that he may be ready to take Farmer's job. Last season, his point totals reached double digits in big games against Pac-10 rivals Cal and Arizona. And he also recorded a personal season best, eight assists in a game against Stanford. This year, he's preparing to take on a stronger leadership role. At the Bruins' first exhibition game last week, Farmar, now sitting with other Bruin fans opposite the team bench, gave Collison his vote of confidence. I think Darren will be fine. You know, as long as he continues to lead and improve from game to game, as long as they stay together and defend, I mean, the team can go you know, as far as it'll take them. After the exhibition game against Humboldt State on Thursday, Collison said he's learned a lot from his former teammate and current Lakers rookie. You know, watching Jordan last year, like I said, my freshman year was a learning experience. You know, just watching all the little things he did, like being a leader, and, you know, he was a lot vocal, and, you know, he was a lot under control, you know. Teammates Josh Shipp and Lorenzo Mata say they know Collison's up for the task. Darren's so quick, he, uh, he draws mismatches all the time, and he penetrates and kicks it out to us, so he's definitely helping us out a lot this year. Jordan came out and Darren came in for Jordan. I mean, you can tell much of a difference. So, I mean, uh, he's, he has some big shoes to fill, but I'm, I'm sure he, he, he doesn't have a problem with that. Starting with their season opener against BYU tonight, we'll see whether Collison can put Farmer's lessons into practice. For Daily Bruin TV, this is Courtney Bowman. Last season, Darren Collison backed up point guard Jordan Farmer. But this year, a lot has changed. Farmer is now in the pros, and Collison takes over the Bruin offense. Backing up Darren this year is energetic point guard Russell Westbrook. The freshman out of Hawthorne has logged an average of 15 minutes through the exhibition games and has provided the team with a tremendous lift off the bench. I'm just getting, coming off the bench, great energy, just getting to the flow and just trying to help my team win. While defense will continue to be the team's staple, Offensively, the Bruins have been pushing the ball up court. Scoring in transition is something Westbrook is looking forward to, and he anticipates it being the identity of the team. Real transition, run, 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 run. Like you said, all we do in practice is run, so just pushing the ball. Against Humboldt State, Westbrook scored 11 points on 5 of 7 shooting. His productivity showed his teammates that he will be able to contribute this year. He just played so hard all the time. I mean. He already had a concussion and everything. I mean, that's, that just comes to tell you that he plays real hard. Yeah, Westbrook, I mean, he had a good showing in the last exhibition game, so it should be fun this year. Look for Westbrook to be a reliable backup as he helps lead the Bruins' high-powered offense. For Daily Bruin TV Sports, I'm Lena Dijani. <laughs> It's a big deal for Bruin basketball fans. Josh Shipp is back. Shipp joined the UCLA squad in the fall of 2004. As a freshman, he already became the fourth highest scorer on the team, and his rebound average was the highest of any freshman in the Pac-10. He was praised for his intelligence on the court and his ability to fight for the ball. Then, early in the 2005 season, a hip injury sent the promising forward to the bench. Yeah, I sat out all last year, had to watch the guys make that great tournament run. But um, I spent a long summer rehabbing, getting healthy, and I'm ready to be back out there. Ship says one positive came from his absence. It made him appreciate his chance to play basketball. I just used last year as a learning experience. I slowed down a lot. And uh, really, I'm just enjoying every moment out there on the court. Junior guard Aaron Aflalo, who also entered UCLA in 2004, is glad to have his classmate back on the court with him. You know, he's just a leader, another reliable scorer, um, you know, somebody I can count on in the crunch time, and that's what you look for in, in a competitive player. With Ship back in the rotation, the Bruins are picked to finish first in the Pac-10 and make another try for the national championship. For Daily Bruin TV, I'm Ethan Osh.
Two years ago, Erin Aflalo entered UCLA in a highly touted recruiting class. The group included McDonald's All-American Jordan Farmar out of Taft High School and Josh Shipp, a standout from Fairfax High School. Shipp didn't play last year due to his hip injury. And Farmar has gone to the pros. So Aaron Aflalo is the only returning member of his class who's played significant minutes during the past two years. I am definitely one of the leaders just simply because I have a, the most experience as of right now, uh, on the floor experience. Because there are no seniors, the junior guard takes on huge responsibility in this year's Bruin team. A minor injury suffered during summer league basketball only drove him to shape up for the big year ahead. Actually this summer I had a little downtime with the injury to my foot. Um, but I did a lot of, a lot of aquatic work, uh, stay in the water a lot, did a lot of a lot of machinery work, so you know, I, I do feel like I'm in good shape. Need to get in better game shape, you know, because it's always different. One element is constant in a follows life, his perfectionism. Every year he starts off the season with the same mentality. I just want to win. I just want to win. You know, I've said, you know, I always set some, some individual goals for myself. Um, I just want to win every game. That's the most important. Another junior, center Lorenzo Mata, missed 14 games last year due to a fractured tibia. He commends Aflalo's ability to guide the team, but he feels that he will have a big role as well. Aaron is a great leader now. He's stepping it up. And uh, after my injury, after coming back in practice, I, mean, I, I feel like that's one of my, one of my main uh, things to do, be a leader. Jordan Farmer left, and Josh Shipp is just beginning his sophomore year. But with a flawless poise on the perimeter and Mata's presence in the paint, the 2004 recruiting class will still be strongly represented. For Daily Bruin TV, I am Itanaj.